Hey guys, welcome to Vlogoween Day 8. Um, today I'm reading another story called Come On, Let's Go, and it's about three minutes long. And it's about two friends who have a sleepover on ha All Hallows' Eve, which I think is October 30th, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't have my backdrop up for today today's video, or tomorrow's video, because I'm pre-filming today, and or not today's video, but I'm pre-filming tomorrow's video after I film this is this video. Because I'm going to the camper this weekend. But the reason for my backdrop not being up today or in tomorrow's video is because after I filmed last night's, well, my video for yesterday, it fell off completely. So, since I'm in the middle of getting ready to go to the camper, I'm unable to put it up for today's video. But it'll be up for Sunday's video, which is October 10th. So, yeah, um... And that's the reason why my backdrop isn't up for today in tomorrow's video. So, I'm just going to get right into it. I'm in, also in the middle of doing a vlog right now, so I've, I just figured make two videos. I'm not going to make these very long, like the last couple days, because I still have to finish my vlog and get ready to go to the camper. But, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm also hoping to go see my boyfriend tomorrow, tomorrow morning, so hopefully that happens. Um, I haven't been able to go out and see him yet, so tomorrow I might be able to. We'll see. My, my parents and I are talking about it, so hopefully I am going to be able to go and see them tomorrow. And if we do, or if I do, I'm super excited. Anyway, so I'm just going to get right into it. Also, shout out to my amazing boyfriend Isaac, by the way. I love you and I miss you, and hopefully I'll be able to see you tomorrow. So, let's just get into it. There were two young girls named Emma and Veronica who lived on the same street. It was a Halloween night, and Emma's parents had gone away for the weekend. <coughs> She was a little nervous about being on her own in the house overnight, so she invited her friend Veronica to over to keep her company. The girls planned to have a sleepover. During the day, they swapped clothes and did each other's nail hair and nails. In the evening, they ordered a pizza and watched a horror movie. Now, that, now and then, a group of kids would ring the doorbell and yell trick-or-treat. The two girls had fun handing out all of the candy on Halloween. Afterwards, the girls spent a long time chatting and gossiping about the other kids in their school. Before they knew it, it was past midnight. The girls were both very tired, and they decided it was time to go to sleep. Emma got into her own bed while Veronica had, a, had to sleep on a futon, futon on the floor. The room was completely silent, and Emma was gradually drifting off to sleep. Just then, Veronica sat up and began shaking her friend. Come on, let's go downstairs and get some ice cream, she said loudly. Emma was very sleepy and muttered, I'm not hungry. Well, I am, replied Veronica. Come on, let's go downstairs. Emma turned over in her bed. There's no ice cream in the freezer, she moaned drowsily. We ate it all. Then let's go to the store and buy some, said Veronica. I don't want any, mumbled her friend. You go on your own. No, it's not safe to walk alone at night, Veronica whined. Come on, let's go. Emma lay in bed and tried to ignore her. Please, Emma, Veronica started crying. Please, I really want some ice cream. Tears were streaming down her face. Emma was exasperated. She was sick and tired of listening to her friend whine. Oh my god, okay, Veronica, okay, she shouted. If it's that important to you, then I'll go to the shop with you. Just calm down. The girls quickly got dressed and put on their coats. As soon as they left the house, however, Grant... Where was I going with that? I said Gran instead of Veronica. Oh my goodness. I guess I was going to read the word right after Veronica. I don't know, which is grabbed. But anyways, Veronica grabbed her friend's hand instead of dragging her in the opposite direction. This isn't the way to the store, said Emma. Shh, hissed Veronica. We're going to the police station. When I looked in the mirror, I saw a man with an axe hiding behind, or er, hiding under your bed. Nice. Okay. Anyway, that's something. Okay, that is it for today's video. I didn't know what I was expecting. Um, well, no, I wasn't expecting the ending of that. I thought it was just going to... I thought something was going to happen to the group, two girls, like, on the way to the store. I wasn't expecting her to say they were going to the police station and said, I, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more content from me. And I will see you guys tomorrow, but for me, it'll be, like, in, like, five minutes for Vlogoween Day 9. Bye, guys.